Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Monica Alcantara and I'm here to discuss about conduction block in hereditary neuropathies. I'm going to present some unusual nerve conduction findings in a case of hereditary neuropathy and then discuss possible differential diagnosis. The patient is a 37-year-old woman who presented with slowly progressive weakness in her lower limbs since age 19. At age 25, she had asymmetric weakness in the upper limbs. Then she required walking sticks around her 30s and a walker for the past two years. In the most recent assessment, she had predominantly distal weakness in upper and lower limbs and bilateral foot drop. This is the median nerve conduction study that was done with high stimulation intensities in all sites. Here we have a prolonged distal latency of 13 milliseconds at the wrist, a conduction block between the wrist and the antecubital fossa, and reduced conduction velocities around 8 meters per second, and also some temporal dispersion. Here we have the ulnar nerve conduction study. It shows a prolonged distal latency of 9.8 milliseconds at the wrist, a conduction block between the wrist and the elbow, temporal dispersion, and reduced conduction velocities, this time resulting in a non-uniform conduction slowing. We can see here that the proximal synapse have a much longer duration than this one below the elbow, and that the nerve fibers show a broader range of conduction velocities, as we can see by this morphology here where the slowest fibers appear at the end. The patient was investigated in multiple clinics and was also treated with IVIG, but did not improve. A genetic test showed a compound heterozygous mutation in the FIG4 gene, confirming the diagnosis of CMT type 4J, which is an autosomal recessive, usually asymmetric neuropathy. The test was negative for other genes that can cause demyelinating neuropathies. Now I'm going to end this session with the main teaching points. Hereditary neuropathies may rarely present with non-uniform conduction slowing and conduction blocks, which are usually features of acquired demyelinating neuropathies. These patients can be misdiagnosed as CIDP, but a lack of response to treatment should prompt to reconsider the diagnosis. Hereditary and acquired neuropathies can coexist and present with unusual electrophysiologic patterns. So in patients showing a rapid or stepwise progression, an acquired neuropathy should be suspected. Finally, Big four mutations have been associated with multiple phenotypes, including rapidly progressive neuropathies and ALS. Those are my references. Thank you for watching this teachable moment.